Hello, welcome to another YouTube tutorial guide. I'm really excited to share this build order with you guys today. It's Halion Banshee and the Bio Mine. A little bit later in the video, I'll talk about you know when not to go Bio Mine, but for the most part, in today's meta, Bio Mine is pretty popular right now. Let's get it on my camera. There we go. So this is a 16 16 build. So 16 racks, 16 gas. That'll happen in just a moment. There we go, 16 racks, 16 gas. The reason we do this in TVZ is because it lets us get a early marine for some extra defense. You can shoot away an overlord, you can hold pull first easier this way rather than going gas first. I like to scout off the racks personally, so I'll send the SCV that builds the racks to go check the timing of the natural of the Zerg base. And usually if it's complete, or like just about complete, that means it's macro from the Zerg, at least at that moment, and not a pull first build. Reaper Orbital. Next, we're going to pull an SCV after we've made our natural base right around 139 to 141, depending on how well you work or split. We're going to pull an SCV and it's going to build a depot for us. Next, rally your SCV that comes out of the orbital to make a factory. Sometimes you can even pull. From your mineral patch, you'll get there sometimes just a little bit after you have 150 if you rally it this way, but it's not a big deal. Refinery reactor. You can send that marine to go patrol for, you know, possible overlord, overlord positions. Don't forget to fill up your gas geyser. So the reason we go Helene Banshee is because I just think it's really safe for ladder. I think sometimes it's hard to always get that perfect scout to know whether they're going roaches or not. And so just by default going Helene Banshee, you're going to be safe versus a lot of things on ladder. So go ahead and add on swap. Make two Hellions right away. Get a tech lab on the barracks. Pull an SCV to make a depot. That happens around 32 to 33 supply. Go ahead and lift that barracks and land the starport on the tech lab. And you'll need to make another tech lab. And before you make a banshee, start cloak. And you'll just make one depot after another. We're going to go up to six Hellions with this build. Try to keep everything constant between your SCV production and your unit production. Startup stim. Around four minutes. Obviously, during a game, you're not going to want to sit home with your Hellion Reaper. This is just for build order purpose, so we're leaving them at home. Right around 4.15 to 4.20, get that third CC. We have one Banshee pop. We want to start another depot because we're making another Banshee right after. If we don't do that, we'll hit a supply block. Pull up two workers around 4.30. And start two barracks around 435. Get a reactor on the factory. That's really important. The tech, the factory doesn't want to build its own tech lab because as soon as cloak and the second batch here are done, you're going to want to swap the factory and starport. 
The starport will actually go build its own reactor and a barracks will land on the reactor that the factory built. Some complicated add-on swapping, but once you get used to it, it works great. It's really efficient. So you want to pull up your banshees, and by that I mean like, you know, have them in pairs of two to go attack. Like if you send a single banshee to attack, it usually doesn't get, or has the potential to not get as much damage as it could if it was with the other banshee. So that's usually why we like to send in the two banshees together to attack. Get upgrades going. I should mention that uh, right after your 311, you're going to want to immediately start engineering bays and then two gases. Keep building two depots at a time from now on. That you're not ever going to want to stop. Start up combat shields as soon as Stim finishes. Let me actually show the production tab. And start a siege tank as soon as your factory lands on that tech lab. Because we are going back to this game, you just tend to have a little bit more minerals, so get barracks 4 and 5 up as soon as you can. That's going to happen around 6 minutes. Land the third base. I like putting an armory in the wall where the CC was, and if you do it right, it'll happen right about when your upgrades are halfway done, which is what you want. And with this build, we're going to make up to two siege tanks, and then swap to go bio mine. So you'll lift the factory, it'll make a reactor, then you'll build another factory where the old factory was. Times where you don't want to do this is if you scout roaches, you probably don't want to go bio mine. If you scout Roach Hydra, you also probably don't want to go bio mine. You want to keep making tanks. Right around seven minutes, load up your medevacs and go for a drop. Get one react or sorry, one refinery at the third base. You only need one if you're gonna go bio mine. Once your upgrades are complete, get that fast plus two attack and then plus two armor, followed by plus one vehicle armor. Right at 7.30 or just shortly thereafter, get your fourth CC. The factory that I made right here, the second factory, that could have possibly been a little bit sooner, just something for you to be aware of in your own games. And with Bio Mine, you really just want to keep staying out on the map, so I'm sending out another drop. This is not a style where you usually sit at home and just, you know, build up a large army, then go push. It's usually you send out the army that you have with medevacs. So you just keep sending out one drop after another. We're going to go up to our eight racks now, so right after we get our fourth base is when we add on the three extra barracks. And if you notice, just after 8 minutes, I hit 150 supply. That's a good benchmark for you to try and hit yourself. And pretty soon, we're going to max out really early, which is part of the power of doing the build this way. Is you're just doing things really efficiently, and you're going to hit a very fast max out, right around 9 minutes. At this time, like uh, now that I have a couple of Widow Mines, you're going to want to keep going out on the map. And basically with this build, you just don't stop making medevacs. With Bio Mine, you need, you need a lot of medevac. You're going to want to add all tech labs to these barracks that are just finished making. Just finished being produced. Now that it's about 9 minutes, we are completely maxed. And we're going to go for our 2-2 two -two timing. You can leave the siege tanks at home or you can bring them. I also like to add on with bio mine. If I'm specifically going bio mine, I'll go up to 10 racks. Which is crazy amount of bio production. But that's if you're really committed to the bio mine style and you're not planning on maybe going um, ghost lib, for example, which is a much more turtley style. Get that 3 3 right away. You could get ship weapons at this time if you were planning to do that uh, ghost lib transition. 
But it's very common to just stay heavy bio mine, even in the late game nowadays. I'm going to add on two extra star ports and a ghost academy though, as well as a fusion core. Because we have the money, and it's just a late game transition. And yeah, that's the game. So some of the pros with this build is, again, you can max out super fast. And it's going to be hard to do, and you're going to need to practice in custom games quite a bit to get like that 9-minute max out. And I would say it's even harder in a real game to achieve because we're, we're spending money on scans, and we're also busy microing our Banshees, and we're busy uh, clearing creep. So keep in mind that it's going to be really hard to do in a real game. But if you can consistently hit this in a custom game, it hopefully means that your macro is going to be really consistent when you come to a real game. Um, some of the cons of this build is you do still have to scout. You can't just do this build blindly. You need to know if they're going to go Roach Ravager or Roach Hydra. So you should keep making takes in that in tanks in that instance. But yeah, other than that, I think this is a really safe build for ladder. And uh, I think it shows the power of bio mine and how fast you can max out with it so that's all for today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye